What's up, Man 25 Gamers? Welcome to our video, guys. And today we're going to be talking about how to set up your depth chart in Madden 25. And specifically, this podcast is going to be related to the St. Louis Rams and how we like to set up their depth chart. So real quickly here, we're just going to kind of try to be as, as brief as possible because we know that you guys are ready to get in game and uh, really enjoy this scheme. Uh, but for a backup, guys, I think Austin Davis is actually a very effective quarterback. Um, I mean, here we're looking at his sat, his stats, and they're not all that uh, different than Kellen Clemens here. You see that Brady Quinn does have a little bit uh, similar, more a little bit more kind of across the board stats, but he is not really that great either. Their backups, simply put, they're just not great. They're not going to be starters. That's why they're backups. But uh, I really do recommend putting in Austin Davis for that 87 acceleration, that 82 agility, and 75 speed. He's going to do a really good job at being providing some mobility that maybe Sam Bradford can't provide for you. Uh, so that's why I recommend at least putting Austin Davis in the backup uh, quarterback position. At running back here, Zach Stacy is a really effective running back, but also you have to uh, consider Isaiah Peed and uh, – and I obviously just backed out there my roster. Sorry about that. We'll hop back in. But the luckily it auto saves on next gen, which uh, thank you EA. It's about time. But, but uh, anywho, here what I like to do when I compare them is I like to compare physically. And physically, Isaiah Pete is the most gifted back out of the three. I mean, 92 speed, 91 acceleration, or 91 agility, 94 acceleration. Um, you know, pretty effective there. Trucking wise, as you see, Zach Stacy is much better. Uh, elusiveness, Daryl Richardson is actually really good with 92 elusiveness. Um, let's see your spin move. Isaiah Pete has a nice spin move at 91. Juke move, which is probably the one that I use the most. Uh, shout out to my back juke video. You guys can check out that uh, on my YouTube channel. Carrion, Zach Stacy is kind of going to be that guy that you close the game with. This is where I really kind of look for a back for my offense, especially this one from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. It's a very pass-oriented offense, and as you see here, Isaiah Pete has 83 catching traffic and 75 catching, and that's why I think he wins the starting battle uh, for us. Because of that catching, he's going to be an elite catch, pass-catching back out of the backfield. In situations where you would want to run the ball uh, and just straight-up run, I would suggest either Richardson or Stacy. Obviously, I think that Richardson's actually probably a little bit better of a running back in terms of pure running, but I think that Zach Stacy is that guy that is a very good overall back that you can put in at any moment and be effective with that 87 speed, 80 strength, and uh, pretty good trucking rating. There's no fullback in this offense, so I won't even bother breaking them down. Uh, wide receivers here, it's kind of the same uh, basic principles we've been using all year. We like to find guys that have uh, really good catching first, so I like to kind of just so, um, sort them by catch rating, and then uh, I look by catching traffic to see who I really want in the game. Uh, but here, real quick, we're going to go through and sort them by catching, and then do that little compare and contrast uh, little kind of article thing here. So here we see not the Rams do not have a whole lot of top end guys either uh, catching wise, but here let's take a look at their catching traffic. So you see um, Austin Pettis has, has got 87 catching traffic. I mean he's it, it's pretty clear cut that he's going to be your number one receiver with his 85 catching, 79 route running, and 87 catching traffic. He's just a really good player. Uh, Tavon Austin is that slot guy, and that's why I have him at the third receiver slot. He didn't do really good on those little drag routes and crossing patterns that we're going to be putting him on. And then our, at our second receiver slot, I think Stevan Bailey is actually a really good option because of the fact that he's 5'10". He's got, but he's also got 84 spectacular catching, 74 catching traffic. I don't really like his route running, and I could see you putting Chris Givens in because he has 86 spectacular catch. Uh, and also Brian Quick is actually 6'3", with 76 catching traffic. 88 spec catch, so you could put really anybody in that second receiver slot. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with Brian Quick. Uh, he's quick. They say he's quick, but he's only got 87 speed. Um, but I, I don't know really. That's kind of a toss up, to be honest. Uh, I could see you putting in Chris Givens for the 96 speed. Uh, kind of just whatever you want to do there. But the other two guys, I'm really kind of set on. You want Austin Pettis at your number one, and you want Tavon Austin at your number three. 
tight ends, guys, Jared Cook. I mean, you started a team with that guy. 90 speed, uh, 88 acceleration. He's got really good catching, too. 83 catch. Uh, his catching traffic could be a little bit better. It's only 75, but it gets the job done. And Lance Kendricks, um, with that 76 catch in traffic, is a very pro- promising backup. And then, But as you guys know, I like to put in my offensive lineman at the backups so that I can have him on special teams. Offensive lineman, I don't really mess with uh, that much. I really like Chris Williams over Shelly Smith at the left guard position, though, because of his speed and his impact block. Um, and but outside of that, I kind of just go stock here. Uh, but I could see you know a couple of minor adjustments here and there. So defensively on the defensive side of the ball, guys, this is what I'm really excited to get into here. I think the St. Louis Rams are a perfect team for the four six bear, and I think it's because of all the defensive linemen that they bring to the table. So real quickly, the left end is going to be Chris Long. He's going to be that guy that is blitzing through the A gap on the E gap pressure that we're going to be running. Um, I could, he's got 90 strength and 84 acceleration and 76 speed. That's a really good uh, little stat line there, and I, I'm pretty excited about uh, what we can do with him. As far as backups go, guys, I like to put just the, the next best guy uh, that that has good power moves and finesse moves, so someone that has really good pass rush. Uh, for example, on the Rams here, as we're looking through here, we notice that Sammy Brown has 84 pa- uh, finesse moves and Eugene Sims has 86. So we're going to put Sammy Brown at the third slot and Eugene Sims at the second slot, and we're going to do that for both sides of the ball. And so uh, our right end is going to be Robert Quinn. He's on his island. He's going to be that guy that we can drop into coverage real quick here. Uh, let's just take a look at his covering stats just to kind of show off a little bit. Uh, he's got about 40 zone coverage, and that's not, uh, you know, obviously it's not great for a linebacker, but it's pretty good for a defensive end. He's got that 96 pursuit. He's got 80 block shedding, so he'll be fine on an island over there. 98 power moves. Uh, that's probably one of the best defensive ends in the game, to be honest. Uh, our defensive tackles here, we really kind of don't change much here. Uh, I like to leave Langford and Brockers kind of where they're at. There's really nobody behind them that is really promising. Uh, so I just kind of leave the defensive tackles as is. Left outside linebacker, this is the linebacker that's going to be uh, blitzing on almost every play. And the reason, and because of that, I'm going to be making that a defensive end. So I'm going to be substituting. William Hayes in at the left outside linebacker position. He's got 80 speed. He's got 74 strength. He's got pretty good acceleration as well. Uh, but he has 87 tackling, 84 power moves, which is why I'm putting him there mainly. He's got that uh, decent block shedding. He's only got 30 zone coverage, but we're not going to be dropping him into zone coverage much. And so that's why I put him there. Obviously, remember, guys, for your backups, you want to put it in the guys with the highest hit power because those guys are going to be on your special teams unit. So, for example, for the Rams, I'm placing uh, Alec Ogletree at the middle linebacker backup, Robert Quinn at the left outside or right outside linebacker backup, and Darren Bates at the left outside linebacker uh, second string guy. And then, obviously, the third string guy, you can just put in whoever you want. James Laurinaitis, obviously you start a team with that guy in the middle. Uh, he's just going to do a lot of good a lot of good things for us there and you know simply just kind of clog that middle, be a great middle linebacker and and have the opportunity to pursue and tackle and things like that. Right outside linebacker is going to be Alec Ogletree. He's got 83 speed. Uh, which is a pretty uh, rich man stat. 90 acceleration, pretty good. And uh, what I really like about Alec Ogletree is he's got that 89 hit power, uh, 80 finesse moves, 92 pursuit. If we ever send him on a blitz, he's going to be a, a pretty good blitzer. But he also has that 83 man cover, or, uh, 74 man coverage and 83 zone coverage, which 83 zone coverage is better than some of their cornerbacks have. So he's a very good covering backer. Uh, backup uh, backer there is Robert Quinn for the special teams unit. And then obviously we place Sammy Brown at the third slot because he can help us out in a lot of different ways. And, and that's kind of what you're doing at that spot in your depth chart. Cornerbacks, guys, for the 46 defense, you're, uh, the only real weakness with it is the left side kind of tosses. So we like to place a cornerback there that has you know high block shed rating, high hit power, stuff like that. And um, for the uh, for the Rams here, we have a couple of different options. Uh, but the the guy that I chose for me is uh, their strong safety here, TJ McDonald. 
And he has 76 zone coverage, which isn't terrible. Uh, and he also has 70 block shedding. So I'm going to be putting him uh, at that second at that second string uh, spot here. So remember, it's the second corner, and that guy's going to stop the run. Uh, Jarvis uh, Janoris Jenkins is on the right. We really don't need anything other than man coverage and zone coverage on that spot. Uh, as far as the third and fourth corners, I like to just put again. I like to put the guys in with the highest hit power because those guys are going to be on your special teams unit. Obviously, you want to save the highest of the high for your strong safety and free safety position. But we like to put in guys that have about 70-ish hit power. That's why we put in Tremaine Johnson and uh, Rodney McLeod there at our our spots there. And then for the fifth. Uh, corner slot we like to put in uh, the highest press uh, corner whoever has the highest press and so for the Rams uh, for the Rams here that is going to be uh, Corlin Finnegan he's actually going to be the the guy at the highest press since he's actually going to be starting at another spot we're going to put in Cody Davis uh, a, f a backup free safety who has 93 speed. Uh, he also has 80 press. And another thing that's really interesting about this guy, he's got that 72 tackling. His block shedding is not that great, but he has good tackling. And his man and zone coverages aren't that great, but he is fast, can tackle, and can press. So he's a great guy for that fifth slot, uh, maybe in a quarter or dime normal formation. Free safety, that's where we like to place our our, our guy here, Cortland Finnegan. Uh, he's going to be a, a good user player to have. He's got that 91 speed, 6'7 strength, and that's kind of the only spot on the defense that we can really put him because we already have Janoris Jenkins at another position. Uh, you know, as far as the rest of the, as far as your backup guy here, you want to again, you want to put in the free safety. You has the highest hit power uh, as your backup. So here for the Rams, uh, that it's actually going to be. Uh, T.J. McDonald. That T.J. McDonald is actually going to go ahead and just be the backup, uh, backup free safety. Uh, Matthew Daniels also has actually 89, so we'll actually put Matthew Daniels there. Um, you know, so that's what we'll do with that. And so basically, now what we've got is we got Corlin Finnegan at the free safety, backing him up. We've got Matthew Daniels, and then strong safety. We're going to place. Uh, I've thought about putting. Uh, Matthew Daniels in just because he has all that those strength characteristics, uh, but we we still need that guy in there that can uh, cover underneath. So as I'm, I'm as I'm scrolling through here, I've got a couple of guys that I want to compare and contrast before I make my final decision. Uh, I want to compare Matt Daniels with Tremaine Johnson has actually 66 strength. That's pretty good for a corner. T.J. McDonald, we've already got him in the lineup. So let's compare Matt Giordano, Darian Stewart, and uh, Matthew Daniels. So speed-wise and, and hit power and all that, they're, they're pretty much the same here. Tackling goes to Stewart. Hit power goes to Stewart. Power moves goes to Stewart. Block shedding goes to Stewart. Pursuit goes to Stewart. Man coverage goes to Stewart. Zone coverage goes to Stewart. It's pretty much everything goes to Stewart except for strength. So we're going to have Stewart at the number one here. And, uh, you know, then we're also going to throw Stewart at the number two free safety so that he can go down and, and play on special teams. And then we're going to throw Matt Daniels at the second string strong safety so that he can run down on special teams. So that is it for the Rams depth chart, guys. And uh, a lot of in-depth talk. Maybe you may, you may have missed something and, or maybe I was unclear. If you have any questions about the Rams depth chart, go ahead and leave a comment on the video below. And also, guys, uh, so far to date, uh, what is your favorite scheme uh, that I have produced? Thanks for your time, guys.